Hello everyone, my name is Sidhan Miglani, your German language trainer. Welcome back to my channel, German with Sidhan. In today's video, I'm going to tell you more than 50 types of household and furniture items with step-by-step -step pronunciation and translation from English to German. So, let's get started. Household and furniture items in German. In today's lesson, we have a list of more than 50 types of household and furniture items explained both in singular and plural forms. Furthermore, I'm going to translate each and every word for you from German to English so that you can understand the difference of pronunciation between English and German language. First, we have the translation for the word household item. The word is Dear Haushalts Atikel. The word is in singular form. Dear is the article for the word Haushalts Atikel. In German language, every noun has an article. So, it's a rule that we need to follow. We have to write the article first, then the noun after it. Dear Haushalts Atikel. Then, plural, household items, the Haushalts Atikel. As we can figure it out, both the words are completely same. Dear Haushalts Atikel, singular form. The Haushalts Atikel, plural form. Our next word is furniture. The word is das Möbel. The word is in singular form. Then plural furnitures, the Möbel, plural form. Again, we have no change in the spelling between singular and plural forms. The word is das Möbel, singular form, the Möbel, plural form. In this particular word, we have O with umlaut. Umlaut means we need to put two dots above the letter O. So this letter has a pronunciation of AO. So we call it das Möbel, singular form, and the Möbel, plural form. House, we call it das Haus, singular form. Houses, the Häuser, plural form. Now we have two changes in the plural form. A is with umlaut, means we need to put two dots above the letter A. This letter has a pronunciation of A, very similar to English. Moreover, we have ER at the last position, the Häuser, plural form, houses. Stairs, the Treppe, singular form. Staircases, the Treppen, plural form. We have extra N at the last position, the Treppen, staircases. Room, das Zimmer, singular form. Rooms, the Zimmer, plural form. Again, both the words are completely same. Das Zimmer, singular form. The Simmer, plural form, rooms. Bedroom, das Schlafzimmer, singular form. Bedrooms, the Schlafzimmer, plural form. Again, we have no change in the spelling. Das Schlafzimmer, the Schlafzimmer. Living room, das Wohnzimmer, singular form. Living rooms, the Wohnzimmer, plural form. Again, no change in the spelling. Both singular and plural forms are completely same. Bathroom, das Barat Simmer, singular form. Bathrooms, the Barat Simmer, plural form, no chin in the spelling again. Guest room, das Gestet Simmer, singular form. Guest rooms, the Gestet Simmer, plural form, no chin in the spelling between both the words. Das Gestet Simmer, the Gestet Simmer. Dining room, das S Simmer, singular form. Dining rooms, the S Simmer, Plural forms. Again, we have the same words. Das Essimmer, singular form. The Essimmer, plural form. No change in the spelling. Kitchen, the Kusher, singular form. Kitchens, the Kushin, plural form. We have extra N at the last position. The Kushin, kitchens. Corridor, der Flur, singular form. Corridors, the Flur, plural form. We have extra E at the last position, the flora, corridors. Balcony, dear balcon, singular form. Balconies, the balcona, plural form. We have extra E at the last, the balcona, balconies. Wall, the wand, singular form. Walls, the window, plural form. In this word, again we have the letter A with umlaut, means A with two dots. So, this letter has a pronunciation of A, very similar to English. So, we call it the window, plural. 
walls window das fenster singular form windows the fenster plural form as we can see both the words are completely same das fenster singular form the fenster plural form bed das bett singular form beds the betten plural form we have a n at the last position the betten means beds dresser the kommode singular form plural chest of drawers the kommoden plural form we have extra n at the last position the kommoden chest of drawers desk der schreibtisch singular form desks the schreibtische plural form we have extra e at the last position the schreibtische desks door the tour singular form doors the tour in plural form in both the words we have u with umlaut means we need to put two dots above the letter u this letter has a pronunciation of u again very similar to english so we call it the tour table der tisch singular form tables the tisher plural form we have extra e at the last the tisher tables chair der stool singular form chairs the stooler plural form we have extra e at the last position moreover we have u with umlaut means we need to put two dots again above the letter u which has the pronunciation of u so we call it the stooler plural form chairs armchair der sessel singular form armchairs the sessel plural form both the words are completely same der sessel singular form the sessel plural form wardrobe der kleiderschrank singular form wardrobes the kleiderschränke plural form we have extra e at the last and a is with umlaut which has a pronunciation of a very similar to english so we call it the kleider schränke plural form wardrobes roof das dach singular form roofs the dasher plural form we have er at the last position and a with umlaut we call it the dasher roofs sofa das sofa singular form sofas the sofas plural form we have extra s at the last position the sofas plural form shelf das regal singular form shelves the regalo plural form we have extra e at the last position the regalo shelves ceiling the decker singular form ceilings the decken plural form we have n at the last the decken ceilings floor der boden singular form floors the boden plural form we have a slight variation in the spelling we have o with umlaut means o with two dots this letter has a pronunciation of eu so we call it the boden floors refrigerator der kühlschrank singular form refrigerators the kühlschränke plural form we have extra e at the last moreover we have a with umlauts so we call it the kühlschränke dishwasher the spule machine singular form dishwashers the spule machinen plural form we have extra n at the last position the spule machinen dishwashers dishes das geschirr as we can see we can't categorize this word both in singular and plural forms so we call it das geschirr means dishes cutlery das besteck singular form sets of cutlery the bistecke plural form we have extra e at the last position the bistecke sets of cutlery stove der head singular form stoves the header plural form we have extra e at the last position the header stoves drawer the shoe blader singular form drawers the shoe bladen plural form in this word we have extra n at the last the shoe bladen drawers shower the dusher singular form shars the dushin plural form 
extra n at the last the division shars bathtub the badawana singular form bathtubs the badawanan plural form again we have extra n at the last position the badawanan bathtubs plural form mirror der spiegel singular form mirrors the spiegel plural form as we can figure it out both the words are completely same der spiegel singular form the spiegel plural form tall das handtuch singular form tals the handtücher plural form we have extra er at the last position and u with umlaut means u with two dots so we call it the handtücher tals pitcher das bild singular form pitchers the builder plural form extra er at the last position the builder pitchers sink das waschbecken singular form sinks the waschbecken plural form again no change in the spelling das waschbecken singular form the waschbecken plural form oven dear oven singular form ovens the oven plural form in this word we have o with umlaut which means o with two dots this letter has a pronunciation of eo so we call it the eofen plural form ovens lamp the lamper singular form lamps the lampen plural form we have extra n at the last position the lampen lamps clock the oer singular form clocks the oeren plural form we have en at the last position the oeren clocks plural form curtain dear forehang singular form curtains the forehanger plural form we have extra e at the last and a with umlauts so we call it the forehanger curtains telephone das telephone singular form telephones the telephone plural form we have extra e at the last position the telephone telephones television dear fanzeher singular form television sets the fanzeher plural form both the words are completely same dear fanzeher the fanzeher radio das radio singular form radios the radios plural form we have extra s at the last the radios means radios waste basket dear papier corb singular form waste baskets the papier corbe plural form we have extra e at the last and o with umlaut which has a pronunciation of eo so we call it the papier corbe waste baskets computer dear computer singular form computers the computer plural form we have no change in the spelling dear computer the computer alarm clock dear wecker singular form alarm clocks the wecker plural form again no change in the spelling dear wecker singular form the wecker plural form carpet dear tapish singular form carpets the tapisher plural form we have extra e at the last position the tapisher carpets microwave the microwave singular form microwaves the microwave in plural form we have extra n at the last the microwave in microwaves dustbin dear mule eimer singular form dustbins the mule eimer plural form again both the words are completely same dear mule eimer the mule eimer air conditioner the kliman lager singular form air conditioners the kliman lagen plural form we have extra n at the last the kliman lagen air conditioners that's all for today's session in today's lesson we have covered the vocabulary of almost every household and furniture item that we use in our daily lives so today's homework would be just write down all these words both in singular and plural forms so that you can execute the same with complete ease thanks for watching the lesson goodbye